Warning, the following show features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, the reality guys and producers must insist that none of these opinions be taken as facts. Now, please enjoy the show. Welcome back to the reality guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host, Brian. All right, bud. We have finally, finally reached the end of Juan Pablo's season. This final video here is going to incorporate the women's hell all special, the finale and the after the final rose, which me and Brian have both agreed all could have been one episode. Yes, like it's so much waste of time in this this franchise as a whole. It, there's not a lot of you got to trim the fat a little bit on these things. So obviously combining three episodes, we aren't going to go beat by beat and we're not going to bury the lead as well. Two things um, off the top. One, we do have a winner of the season, and we did guess correctly the last few weeks. It is Nikki. Um, so congratulations, Nikki. 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 <laughs> um, also, we did get to see the resolution with Claire. Um, some people had been alluding to Claire kind of making a stand, and we did get to see Claire's stand. Um, the reason why I go stand is because if he said he picked her, she would have been happy and it would have been the best day in her life. Instead, he's a horrible man. She, she would never want her children to have a father like him. I, you know, man, like the whole, our whole mission statement of watching this was give us like the worst guy ever, worst bachelor ever. We want garbage. And I'm going to say, I'm a little disappointed in the level of garbage we got. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's funny that like these people that were like he's so terrible i just i don't know i guess maybe back then maybe in 2014 it was terrible but in 2022 i don't think it was that bad dude i mean the way they were talking about this guy on twitter and on like the facebook groups and we appreciate everyone obviously who comments and plays along with us i thought he like sexually assaulted someone i thought they were going to find out that he was like a like I don't know, like a, a corporate you know, tax of me. Like, I don't even know. Like, I, I was like, man, these people hate this guy. And we just got out of Clayton season. And I'm sorry. I'm again, whatever. Clayton and Susie are happy. But Clayton was way worse to the women and way worse of a role model than Juan Pablo. Yeah, it, it really what it comes down to. And I think we were texting. He just didn't respect the, the show. And like. It's dumb. <laughs> the premise of the show is dumb. The, and he the stood sanctity. against it. Yeah, he stood against it, and it's fine to me. Well, let's just get to that thing, because that was really what the after the final rose was. And Chris Harrison, man, he tried. He tried so hard to get this guy to care that he didn't, that people were mad at him and no one, like, liked him. And he's like, it's cool. It's cool. I, you know, I, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> like, I, I respected it, because, again, at the end of the day, it's like, Bro, he doesn't owe you anything. Like when he was literally like, don't you think you owe it to the people who have gone along this journey with you? I was like, yeah. are you serious, dude? N me and you, it's basically saying, Brian, that me and you deserve to be a part of their lives. Like, are, is he nuts? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Chris Harrison looked like kind of like a bitch to me. He's just like a company puppet. They had all the other bachelors on the side and he's like, yeah. And they're all like trying to hate a lot, Papa, but he's like, yeah, good for you. Like, he's like, I wasn't going to propose. I wasn't in love. That was the part that was awkward, though, for poor Nikki sitting there. And like, you could tell she didn't even believe what she was saying. He's like, are you cool that he hasn't said I love you? She's like, yeah, sure. I mean, I've never not. I've never been the first person to say I love you before, but I'm really happy. <laughs> it's fun living on a compound in Venezuela, like. Yeah, what happened in Venezuela, too, at that point? Was there, like, an earthquake yeah, or well, something? Yeah, surprise something or, like, a shooting. Do you like how that's, like, what he first thinks? Like, you know, things have been really tough on me. Venezuela <laughs> is, like, come I on. Just, yeah, I don't know. I just, him just kind of, like, subtly, like, hiding a middle finger, like, under the, you know, when you flip someone off in the yep. car, you don't want to see him. It's, like, under the door. That's pretty much what he was doing the entire time to everybody there, which, I don't know. I kind of liked it because, like, the people... I, I, I again listen was he I, I mean the worst thing you could blame too he said two things you could say he said he didn't take the bachelor seriously okay. don't care no don't one care cares and then like secondly what that he may have been a little bit of an f boy okay I guess he basically probably like he basically treated the bachelor like how we treated dating in college say yeah. like 
Mm-hmm. That's as close. Like I see the guy, I'm like, oh, all right, I can see you guys are very upset about this, but like, I you can't get me there. Like, I'm very sorry that you're this upset. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm. I'm sorry. Like he kept saying, he's like, I'm sorry you feel this way. He's like, I, but I'm, I'm straight, dude. And like, I could. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm not trying to say like I see myself in the douchiness and I'm like, but like, I'm like, I can kind of relate to what he's saying. Like, guys, this is a t- the TV show. <laughs> like, right. And you know what? After we just did a podcast with Paul um, <laughs> and like he was talking about one of the contestants that he had a run in with. Nick and, Vial. Like, yeah. And honestly, like maybe just Juan Pablo is not good at acting like he was all like in the process. There could have been other guys that people love that is a total he's asshole crap. behind the scenes you know what i mean like 100 so it's just 100 like, you're just mad because he didn't do what you wanted him to do and that's to me i like that i swear to god dude this is, must have been the beginning of like the bachelor marketing how they bat how they do it now because now you know it every week it's the most dramatic week yet is this that i'm like yeah. They oh, push it. Wait, please. how about the, how about when they were like, and Juan Pablo has a big surprise. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, no, yeah. I don't. And I was just like, yes. And they were like, are you, are you sure? He's like, I got, I got nothing. I was like, yeah, that's right. Chris Harrison. Now, what are you going to do? Yeah. Now, what are you going to do? You have nothing planned. This is, this was like a witch. You guys were like a firing squad. And this dude just like, pew, pew. Yeah, he doesn't care. I mean, that just, whatever i mean it, that's the problem with the bachelor it's like it's so good in the beginning and it just gets worse it's it does fun. get worse it's not as fun to watch every week because the fun part is when there's a lot of contestants when it starts to dwindle down it's it's boring like when mm-hmm. you hear these people like oh i really love this person and it's like one of you is going to be one person is going to be really happy and the other person is going to be upset no matter how good of a person they are i and actually like, what do you what do you expect from them dude you know what i, I mean Dude, well, that's what I do. And that's why, like, one of them, again, I, it's funny. I've been talking about Claire, but, like, her performance in the after the final row is great. I don't need to talk to this dude. I'm good. Yeah, like, what right, do you yeah. mean? Like, what is there to talk about? Like, he's not going to say anything I want to hear. You're not going to hear from me what I want to hear. What am I just like, yell at the guy again? So I'm yeah, good. Exactly. I'm good. Chris Harrison's like, do you want me to pass the message along? Yeah. Like, he's not sitting in the back. Yeah, he, yeah, he can hear everything. Yeah. And it's he, not like he's in a soundproof room. Like, yeah, okay, he claimed he wasn't off. watching during the, yeah. but again, that would, now that I'm saying it out loud, I could have totally seen him like not watching it, like literally having yeah. the TV on in the green room and he's like on his phone. Yeah, he's like, like watching, watching soccer. It. He's watching like a soccer rerun or something that happened earlier in the day, something which, but I don't know. It, he was doing humanitarian relief efforts for Venezuela. Yeah, I mean, he honestly he probably was. <laughs> We're thinking about it. He cares about Venezuela. No, he does. I just like, yeah. um, Obviously, I don't think we need to get to our uh, where are they now special, which will be our next episode. We're going to then go back and look at our favorite contestants, Juan Pablo, Camila, everyone in between. And we're going to find out where they are. Young Benjamin, see if he made the MLB or not. Yeah, he's, and, he, he plays for the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. Yeah, he does. He's on the minor, the minor A affiliate team mm-hmm. of the Far Marlins. He got it. He got an internship with Juan Pablo later on in life. He had a hookup. Um one thing I know that we don't need to see is there are zero percent chance that him and Nikki are together. No, zero. No. They probably didn't make it a few more months after that thing. Yeah, that see, that was one of the things like that was really hard when we edit these episodes is when you type in a like finding pictures and you're like you're just typing in the contestants because you want yep. a good one. It's tough, man. Like you see these pictures, I'm like I haven't seen them together in the show yet. <laughs> Where is this taken? So like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i don't know we'll see i'm excited for that episode like anything from the women tell all that was no noteworthy to you uh the dog lover with molly she was yeah, molly, trying to molly returned yeah molly good, returned good cutaways good uh montages the it's okay montage was good like charlene was, good was the job. mvp of the uh, w- women tell all because she because they were trying to bait her into trashing juan pablo and they had a legitimate like relationship she just decided the show wasn't for her and all i think it's like cool you don't see anyone crapping on like the people that left the show the women who left the show because it wasn't for them and like i mean the 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 helicopter thing i guess like what could you said he told claire like we don't really know each other that much but i like hooking up with you i doubt that he said it like that right and you know the way he says things like he could have i'm not i'm not defending the guy in any form but like he could have like just said something that sounded like that but to him maybe he was saying like 
I don't know you that well, but I'm enjoying how it's going. But what yeah. he said was like, I enjoy geesing you. Yeah. Or something like that. Like something dumb. I don't want to hear their crap when they all stayed after the fact. You know what I mean? Like she said, he said the thing, the helicopter, she stayed for three days and then went all the way up to the like proposal section. So if you're really that offended, you would have left. You know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. silly. Andy seemed offended. She left. Charlene wasn't into it. She left all good. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? But don't don't come at the guy. Listen, I enjoyed the season. I really did. I mean, I love the production yeah. value of the season. I love that they go to a million places. I think that was really cool. And I did like that there was intrigue and that we get to see some characters we were familiar with now in the present day. Um, but for our next controversial one, I'm going to definitely like dig a little surface deep to see that it's not yeah. like that. It's not just because this guy was a jerk. It's like, well, That's, I want yeah. some like drama. Yeah, we've lost some uh, credibility from our, our viewers. Not going to lie after that, like, when we when we say we want a bad season, we want a bad season. We want to Just hate because you didn't like the guy doesn't mean it was a bad season. Like this past season was a bad season. Like every episode you saw us and you can go back on our reviews. Like I'm like yelling at the screen. Like right. I, there was never one time that I was ever angry during the season. No. And I'm wondering maybe, Bill, if all of them are like that, but maybe it started to get worse because even the women tell all I wasn't like blown away by some of the like the women tell all for clayton's like and even like uh katie's and like matt, matt james, james like, yeah. it just was like more they probably learned they probably obviously learned over the years like what the questions they need to ask like actually prying on topics I there know. was like a lot of lingering like is he even with the person is he with anyone like matt james wasn't yeah. with anybody Katie right. broke up with people right before the end and her and Blake were basically done before they even went on the reunion. Same thing with Clayton. Clayton was until we, the big surprise at the thing after the fact was that Susie came back, you know, but like that right. was the stuff. That's what brings the intrigue for those final mm-hmm. couple episodes in the reunions. And this one, we were just going to be like, Oh boy. Like a lot of these women are just going to complain that he didn't pick them. And that's why, again, I'm going to say one last, my last thing of this whole season, let's end it with this, Bri. You have one takeaway from the season, whether it be like a moment, a person, a thing. For me, it's Charlene. It's yeah. Charlene. Charlene mm-hmm. was the realest person you may ever get on reality TV. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Charlene would be somebody, if I wasn't a married man, I'd be interested in. Yeah, no, 100%. I All think right. Emily I'll, wouldn't be fault me for that. <laughs> uh, before we actually, I got one more thing before we go. Yeah. Yeah. We said we were going to do this. Let's rank the Bachelor seasons we've covered right Ooh. here. Okay. Um, How are we going to do this? Are we going to do it on what we do we enjoyed or like, obviously this one was low drama to me. Yeah, no, like, it was low drama. I think we need to the, do comp. I think entertainment factor. Just okay. what was the most entertaining to watch? So we'll like, I'll set, I'll separate this as a kind of its own little separate like video clip as well too. We'll use this. So, mm-hmm. all right. So worst season, probably Katie's. Yeah, yeah, I'd have to agree with that. Then I'd probably say this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can agree with that. (laughs) And then it's between Matt James and Clayton. And that's, that's, you know, I am going to go Clayton second. I think I may have had the most anger and, and clips and entertainment factor in that respect for our viewers. But one, Matt James this season was our first, and you can never forget your first. And I, you know, I don't know. There was I, I like the intros in Matt James' season a lot more and a lot mm. more of the, the group dynamic stuff. So even though at the time, if you went back at a time machine right now, and oh, what about Michelle? Me, Fuck. Damn, we've covered more seasons and I realized yeah. I think so. That was the only one we missed was Michelle's. I don't know, man. That's actually tough. What do you think? I kind of liked Michelle's. I did too. I thought it was good. I maybe I'll put um So we're just going off of enjoyment? Yeah, let's go off enjoyment. All right, I'm going to go Michelle 1, Matt James 2, Juan Pablo 3. Ooh, you hate Clayton. Katie 4, (laughs) Clayton 5. I hate that guy so much. I hate him. I hate him. Uh, I I think I'm going to concur with you. I think my favorite actually, too, now looking back, was Michelle's season. Yeah, I liked a lot of the people. Like, I liked Michelle. I liked the contestants. Like, yep, yep. I thought it was just a pretty good season, and the drama at the end was good. Like, we didn't know who was going to win. I, no I, idea. I like that. I like that. And no idea. No, they're still together. Dude, he's killing it. They have so much fun. Yeah. They're, like, goofy. Like, I, I love it. I didn't I... – yeah. Nate, 
and Michelle definitely. They, they, I mean, that's a big part of it. I really didn't. Honestly, I might rev, rev, like rev, like revise. I'm just not a Katie fan. I was not. I thought I was going to be such a big Katie fan coming off of her season with Matt, but man, like the decisions made and the gaslighting made and like yeah, this, the, the fake sex drama. positives, the fake sex positive stuff just was such a turn, like a turn off. But like it was <laughs> just stupid. No, I agree. Um, so it is. We're agreed. So Michelle's season was the best, and then you think Clayton's was the worst. I do. I, I mean, you can swap four and five, but I Clayton, Clayton and Katie awful. are at the bottom. Michelle at the top. Yeah, so we'll, when we get – we have enough, we'll do the S, A, B, C, D, F. We'll have our – yeah, we'll do a tier list. As soon as we need to get like 10 seasons or yeah, so. Yeah, we need more. We need more. And we're actually going to do that too with all of the seasons of shows we've watched. We've talked about doing that in like a tournament yeah. format, and we'll get to that when we get a few more seasons of shows in. But um, overall, Brian, this has been a blast doing this season. Um, really cool, especially to fill the gap. It's nice to have like this in our pocket of knowledge now. I mean, this is a Juan Pablo is a very influential and like infamous reality TV figure. And I'm glad that now we have the full story. Yeah. And I mean, from looking from who like Claire becomes pretty big, Andy gets her in season, like I'm sure some of these people could be on VIP. Like we just don't know. Like Mm -hmm. it's good to watch these shows to, like you said, fill in the gaps of. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see who we pick next. I know. I'm excited for it. It's so just, I wish we had a wheel. I wish we had a wheel bill of all the ones that you just. Yeah, we should just do a here. wheel. I like that. I like a wheel or like have my cat pick a random yeah. thing off the ground. And that's what we use. Like put a bunch of treats down and then like see which one go- it goes to. That's not a bad idea. Uh, you know what? When my babies come home, crawl to like. <laughs> <laughs> Their first job is to pick bachelor seasons. Yeah. Child labor at its finest. They're the next Olsen twins. Yeah. Okay, so um, the next episode of The Bachelor coverage you'll see will be of the Where Are They Now for season 18. So we will fill everyone in. And I think that'll be great for everyone, even if they weren't watching the season back with us. I don't think a lot of them may know where everyone is now. So it is kind of cool to catch everyone up. Um, But on the channel this week, you're also going to see a retro review of The Amazing Race following this. It's uh, Amazing Race season one, episode five. We also have the most recent episode of Survivor, Temptation Island. And finally... We're going to be covering the courtship. Hey, shout out to our two viewers that commented about it. I, oh, I, I watched through I only, I got one more episode some, to go. Bill, there was somebody that else left a comment of another show. Oh, I saw set. that. So we need to look into that. It okay. looks like a YouTube show, so it could be a pretty easy watch. But, but I mean, we're just we're ranting now, but no, it's all good. It don't matter. Like I said, most people will not stop watching by now anyway. So for myself and Brian, Claire, Nikki, little Benny, Camila. The, Molly the cat or the dog. <laughs> cat dog. Thank you guys. Peace. Peace.